Okay, this is our last problem from section 7.5. And the question asks, how long is a wire, they call it a guy wire, it supports, reaching from the top of a nine foot pole to a point on the ground six feet from the pole? Well, a drawing here is crucial. So here's what we got, okay? Well, sorry the sh for the shakiness, but let's call this the ground, okay? spelled correctly. There, we'll call it the ground. Now, I have a pole that is nine feet high. Okay? This pole is given to be nine feet in height. And I'm assuming it meets the ground at a right angle. That would be ideal, you know, for a pole. Okay. We're picking a point on the ground six feet from the pole. So let's say I measure from here. We're on the ground. Let's say this is six feet from the base of the pole. Okay? So here's six feet. How long is a wire reaching from the top of a pole, so from the top, down to this point on the ground? I want to know this length. Well, look what's kind of cool about this picture. Here's a right triangle. We have a leg, we have a leg, but we are looking for the hypotenuse, so we will call that C. So when I apply the Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to have 9 squared, right, leg squared, plus 6 squared is equal to C squared. All right, 9 squared is 81. 6 squared is 36. So when I add these together, I get a 117. Is that correct? Yeah, 117 is equal to C squared. When I take the square root of both sides, and I know the answer has to be positive, C is the square root of 117, and here it would be feet. So my exact answer is the square root of 117 feet. Now, the only thing I need to do is to decide if 117 can be broken down. So what I do on my calculator, I take 117 and I divide it by 4 and that does not come out even. Then I take 117 and divide it by 9. Okay, let me do that one more time. When I take 117 and divide it by 9, I come out with 13. So, 117 is the square root of 9 times the square root of 13. And see the way I did that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that 9 went into this, but by using my calculator I could see that it did. And I come out with the answer 3 root 13 feet. And that is my exact answer. Now, if I want the answer approximated to three decimal places, I really only need to take the square root of 117 and I'm going to put it in my calculator so I'm going to come out with an approximate answer. So when I go to my calculator, okay, and you should have your calculator, I'm typing in the square root of 117 and I'm coming out with like a 10, approximately 10.8. Okay, now, this is a 6, but there's a 6 after it, so that will round up to a 7. So my answer approximately, approximately, that's what the squiggle, squiggle equal sign is 10.817 feet. And this concludes section 7.5.